Welcome to Office 2016 video number nine. In this video, we want to talk about bulleted or numbered or multi-leveled lists in Word. Now here's the PDF notes. You can download this and read it. I want to go down and create a brand new Word document. I'm going to click on the blue W. I'm going to click Escape. All right, I'm going to hold Control and roll to zoom in. And we want to talk about the paragraph level formatting, bullet numbered or multi-leveled lists. Now, when we use these, we've already seen bullets and numbers in this class. We simply have a list of items. But the multi-level list is interesting because it's a good way to organize topics and subtopics or categories and subcategories. So for example, let's do the topics we cover in this class. Windows Explorer, Enter, PowerPoint, Enter, and Excel, Enter, Enter. Now I want to highlight the first three paragraphs. I'm going to use the selection bar, click and drag. And now we go up to paragraph. And before we do multi-level, let's just check, let's just click on numbering. Instantly, that gives us a numbered list. Now, this is really convenient all by itself because if I'm at the end and I want to add something, I simply hit Enter. And now I can type Access. If I forget, like Word should be right there, no problem. This numbered list is totally updatable. I click After Windows Explorer. There's the paragraph, right? This is a paragraph level formatting, so when I hit Enter, no problem. I can insert an item in the list. Word. Now I want to come up to Windows Explorer at the end and now Enter. But I don't want to keep this as the number 2. I want to go in a level. So Tab is the keyboard to go in a level. Shift Tab goes back up a level. Tab goes in a level. So that Tab and Shift Tab works in dialog boxes multi-level list, and when we get to PowerPoint and have our bulleted list, tab and shift tab will work also. Now for Windows Explorer, I'm going to list file management. Now when I hit Enter, oh, I have a new B for this sublist. Now I'm going to type examples, colon, Enter. Now I'm on C, but I'm going to hit tab to move in yet another level. So system of folders, Enter. Copy, paste, move, delete, backup files. Now when I hit Enter, I can Shift, Tab, Shift, Tab. Now I want to do that again, Tab, Tab to move in. The way I do the Shift, Tab is I hold Shift, and then I tap, Tab, Tab to move backwards. Now wait a second, I have too many bullets. Well, now I can simply hit the Delete key to pull that Word paragraph up. Now I can come to some other paragraph here, Enter, Tab to move in a level. Excel helps us with two main tasks, colon, Enter, Tab to move in a level. Calculations, like Payroll, Enter, and Data Analysis, and then in parentheses, Reporting. Now, this is nice as a multi-level list because we have organized topics. There's the main topic. We go in, File Management and Examples. Tab in yet another level to show some examples. Same down here with Excel. We're organizing the topics and the ideas and concepts. Now, if you don't like this particular 1, A, I, and two little i's, we can change this. Click in any one location in the bulleted list. And now we can come up to the drop down for multi-level list. And I want to create or define a new multi-level list. Now this dialog box is great. There's nine different levels. And like all of our dialog boxes, when I click on a particular item, there's a preview over here. Now for level one, I can come down here. I see there's the number style 1, 2, 3. I want to keep that for the first level. But notice there's the gray. That's the automatic part that will increment the number. But I want to click in this text box and backspace. 
I don't want a period. I want to close parentheses. I already see my preview. Now I click on Level 2. I want little i's. Now we see the preview right here. The alignment, of course, is left. We can align this. That means how far from the margin by increasing. And you can see your preview up here change. I'm going to move it back. We can also see the text indent. That's that text right there, how far it indents from the little i. I'm going to increase this, and you can see the preview. Now I'm going to go back. So you can set the particular number style and your alignment and text indent however you want. I'm going to continue through the list, changing this one to 1, 2, 3. Period is fine. 4, I keep seeing the preview over here. I'm going to do little i's. 5, numbers. Six, there's the little i. Seven, one, two, three. Eight, little i. So you can define it however you want. Oftentimes, we don't get this far in, of course. Now we've set all nine levels. There's our preview. I'm going to come down and click OK. And there we go, our new multi-level list. Now that we have our new multi-level list, we can use it in other places in this document. If I come down to the bottom, I'm going to create a list of categories. Basic accounting. And now I'm going to come up, paragraph group, drop down from multi-level list. And there it is. When I click, now wait a second. This is a new list. I don't want it to continue from above. It's trying to be polite, but that's not what I want. So I'm going to right click. And there it is, because this is a multi-level list or a numbered list, I can restart at 1. Click OK. Now when I hit Enter and Tab, there's my new multi-level list. Now at Highline, Accounting 121 is our basic accounting. Enter, Shift Tab. Our next category is Transfer Level Accounting. Enter, Tab. Accounting 201, Enter. Accounting 202, Enter. Accounting 203, Enter, and Shift Tab. Now, if that's the end of my list, I can simply hit Enter. And because I've hit Enter twice, it assumes I do not want that list anymore. Now, one other trick that's important when you're creating a multi-level list, or just a bulleted list or numbered list, is how to skip. Because remember, that's a paragraph level formatting. So I'm going to click at the end, and I want some space in between without the next number. The way you do it is Shift Enter. And look at that. There's a new non-printing character. It means please skip a line for this particular level. Shift Enter. Now notice the paragraph mark is carried forward, but those two non-printing characters mean please skip. Now when I hit Enter, it adds the next bullet. I often use that when I need some space to insert a particular picture. Now one last thing about lists like this, we might want to create this list as a style and use it over and over. In fact, use it in other Word documents on this computer. No problem with our cursor somewhere in the multi-level list. Here's the Styles group. We're going to click the More button. And over here it says Create a New Style. Now we have modified a few styles in this class. Footnote, Bibliography, Heading 1. But here we're going to create a style from a bunch of formatting we've already created. Now notice our cursor is just anywhere in this multi-level list. I'm going to give it a name, My Multi-Level List. And I definitely want to click Modify, because here's the real power. Now for us, there's our name, but the style type. For styles, you can actually create styles for paragraph, character, both character and paragraph, table, and list. Now next video, we'll see a bunch more tricks with styles. But now when I click list, that's what I want. It completely inherits 
all of the correct formatting for this multi-leveled list. We could modify it if we wanted. You, in essence, would have to do it in it with a slightly different dialog box than we saw just a moment ago. But if you click down to the ninth level, you can sure enough see that it's exactly as we had it in our other dialog box. Now, if we come down here, only in this document, I want to say new documents based on this template. That means for this computer, it'll show up with this name when we open up other documents. Now I'm going to click OK. Now we want to save this document. Document 1 is not a good name. And we got to learn a great file management trick. I'm going to hit the F12 key, of course. And I'm going to drill all the way down to Word. Now what I'd like is instead of typing out the whole name, I want to click on an existing name. And the idea here is I have a certain naming convention that I've established. Now when I click on this, look what happens. It assumes that I want that entire name down here. Now if you click Save, it'll ask you if you want to replace. And that's not what we want. But here we go. I'm going to click right after the 0 before the 7. And either I beam highlight, or I can shift an arrow, or we saw a keyboard Control shift and to highlight the end of the Word document, I can do that here. Control Shift End, and it highlights all the way to the end. Now, I'm going to type 9, because this is video 9, dash multi level list. Where do you want to save it? What do you want to call it? And Save As Type, that's all good. I click Save. Now I want to close this document and check if the style is in a new Word document. So Alt F4 to close it. Come down, I'm going to click on the blue W. Escape to get to my blank Word document. And now I'm going to go to my drop down for multi-level list. And sure enough, that is beautiful. I have created this list style. And it's available in other documents. Now, that's a perfect segue because our next video will talk more about word styles. All right, we'll see you next video.